Hello class, welcome to the next lesson in your eighth grade Eureka Math, module three. We're on lesson 10, something called the AA Criterion for Similarity. So we'll need pages 113 to 123 in your math book workbooks. Please start copying down the notes right now as I'm talking about them. Uh, so we've been talking about similarity the past few lessons. And so far in lessons eight and nine, We've been using dilations and rigid motions to prove similarity in triangles. So today, specifically, we're just talking about triangles. Now, you can use dilations and rigid motions to prove similarity in anything, but today we're going to focus on triangles and another way to prove similarity where you do not have to use rigid motions or uh, dilations. This is another rule that helps you find similarity in triangles uh, without dilating, without uh, rigid motions. Just you have to pay attention and find the rule. So uh, today we're going to use, so we've been using uh, rigid motions and dilations. Today we're going to use angles to prove similarity in triangles. Angles to prove similarity in triangles. And we're going to use something called the AA criterion. Now, AA criterion means angle-angle uh, criterion. Criterion kind of just means rule. So you can say AA criterion, it really means the angle-angle rule. And the reason they call it the angle-angle rule or the AA criterion means it's because you're checking to see if two angles are the same. So if two corresponding angles are equal in two triangles, then the triangles are similar. If two angles, if the triangles share two corresponding equal angles, then those triangles are automatically similar. Uh, let me show you an example I drew right here. I have two triangles right here, and you can see that these are, they look similar, but we know they're similar because of the AA criterion. If you look, they have angle A, B, C, Angle B and angle B prime, make sure the letters match. The Bs are both 140, and the As are both 15. So they have two angles corresponding, because the letters match, corresponding angles that are equal. So these triangles are similar. The AA criterion tells us that because these two angles match, these are similar triangles. I don't have to measure the sides. I don't have to dilate. I don't have to translate. I don't have to reflect. I don't have to rotate. I know these triangles are similar because these angles are the same. And the reason it works is because a triangle, you know, that if two, so if two angles match, the triangles are similar. Basically, if two angles match, the triangles are similar. And in fact, you also know that the green in both of these has to be 25 because a triangle has only 180. So we know they are similar if we just know two of them. We do not need all three. If I just tell you two of them, that's enough because with two angles, you have enough information to find the third one. So if two angles match, all three are equal, and so the triangles are similar. But you only need to check to see if there's two that match. And remember, they have to match and be in the same spot. If the 140 was over here, it would not work. Uh, it's easiest to see this if we have some examples. So I don't know. I might have gone a little bit too fast through the notes. If I went too fast, go ahead and pause your video and, and go back and check on your notes. And then when you have all these notes written down, because writing them down is useful, when you have the notes written down, come in and we'll start doing the work. I'm, so go back in the video if you need to, and then try to catch up, because I think I might have gone a little bit too fast. Okay, so if you're caught up with your notes with the AA criterion, let's go. Let's get to the work and let's see some examples because this is something where it helps to see a lot of examples. Now, page 113, you're going to see them ask you to draw triangles. And what I'm going to tell you to do right now is, you know what? 
skip page 113. Let's get to the examples of the AA criteria. Let's get to the example so you can see how it works. So today, just once, we're going to skip a page of the lesson, go straight to page 114, and exercise three. So let's check, are these triangles similar? Are these triangles similar? And present an argument about why or why not. So let's just check right here. Okay, let's find B and B. A and A, C and C, and I guess I should say C prime, A prime, and B prime. Well, let's look at this. Well, let's see. We have angle A is 31 degrees. Angle A prime is 31 degrees. Angle B is 103, and angle B prime is 103 degrees. So I know. Angle B equals angle B prime, and angle A equals angle A prime. So are they similar? I say because this is the AA criterion, two, a, two corresponding angles are equal. AA criterion is proved right there. That is my argument. I have two angles that match, that are the same letter, that are equal. That's the AA criterion. That's the definition of the AA criterion. So that's all I need. I can say triangle ABC is similar to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. I'm done just because I found two matching angles. Two angles match. That's the AA criterion. They are similar. Let's look at example four. See, it's just that easy sometimes with triangles when you know the angles. Are the same directions, are these triangles similar? Present an informal argument. Well, let's uh, find our angles again. A prime, A, B prime, B, C prime, and C. So let's look at here. Let's say angle A equals 31 degrees. Angle A prime equals 31 degrees. That's one. Angle B is 85 degrees. Angle B prime is 103 degrees. We got one match. Uh-oh, not a match. And remember, the AA criterion says we need two. That's why it's AA not just A. It's AA. So triangle ABC is not similar to triangle ABC prime because no AA criterion. Did you see how that works? B does not match, so they are not similar. B does not match, they're not, so we only have one match, we need two. Let's look at another one, example five. Are the triangles below similar? Let's, let's do this, let's say A, A prime, B, B prime, C, C prime. Okay, so, Angle A equals 72 degrees. I can see on mine. I hope you can see on yours. Angle A prime equals 72 degrees. Check. We got a match. Angle B equals, uh oh, that's blank. We don't know that one. Angle B prime equals 60 degrees. Don't know yet. Angle C equals 48 degrees. Angle C prime equals unknown. Okay, so uh, we just don't have enough information yet. We don't have enough information. We need it. We there might one of these might be a match, but we don't know. But what we do know, but so we need to find one of these missing ones to see if we have a match. But you had know enough to do that because you know that 
triangle ABC has to equal 180 degrees because all triangles equal that. So angle A plus angle B plus angle C has to equal 180 degrees. It has to. That's the rule of triangles. So let's use this to find the missing B right here. We know angle A is 72. Angle B is angle B. It's missing. Angle C is 48. And we know everything has to be 180. So let's move things. Let's do the 72 plus the 48. And we get 72 plus 48. Use your calculator if you have to, but I'll just tell you it's 120. 120 plus angle B equals 180. Now to get angle B by itself, I need to do minus 120 on both sides because that makes zero. So I get angle B because zero plus angle B is angle B. 180 minus 120 is 60. So I do this math and I find out that, hey, look, the missing number, 72 and 48 and 60 make 180. 72 plus 60 plus 48 make 180. So I know I used math. I used what I know about triangles. B, angle B is 60 degrees. Angle B prime is 60 degrees. Check mark. Do I have to find this one? No, because the AA criterion only needs two. This is the AA criterion right there. So I can say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Now, this took a little bit more work than number three. And a little bit more work, it took a little bit more work than number three to prove right. But it is still absolutely possible. You just have to find the missing numbers. It is doable. It will take practice, but you can do it. There's a lot less work than dil dilations and rigid motions. So try it out. Let's see if we have more examples. No, that's actually it. If you know how to do this, you're good. You just find the matching angles. If you have if you have enough information, if they tell you and you it's obvious you have two matching angles, perfect. You're done. Number four, if it's obvious they do don't match, that's good. You know they're not similar right away. But sometimes today you might have to do a little bit of extra work and they'll give you and you have to find the missing one to make sure to see if you have two matches. So just a little bit of extra work, not too much, not too tough. I think you can do it. Uh, but that's the AA criterion in action. So the uh, lesson summary on page 115, and yes, we're already at the lesson summary, short lesson today. Two triangles, so it's two triangles are similar if they have two pairs of corresponding angles that are equal in measure. Remember, we're talking about two triangles. We're talking about similarity. You need two matches and they have to be corresponding. They have to be the same angle, same letter, A and A prime. If A matches, if A matches B prime, doesn't work. A has to match A prime. And if they have to be equal to be similar. Uh, you're going to do a little bit of work on this. There's a few questions. Uh, exit ticket, we'll talk about at the end. Let me slide that to the back. If you want a couple more examples, there's always the homework helper. On page 119 and 120, I believe it's a two-page homework helper. They give you more examples. That you can, and they give you the answers and they even tell you the explanation right there. Look, problem, answer, explanation. Use the homework helper to help you. That's what it's there for. Problem, answer, explanation. There we go. There you go. Uh, let's look at the problem set next. And you're going to find the, uh, the questions are all pretty much the same. Are the triangles similar? So remember, the first thing you want to do, make sure you label your angles. Like, And I even use different colors to make sure I see the differences. And then 
look at the AA criteria and look at the ones we practice and tell me, are they similar or not? So you, number one, are those similar? How do you know? Or, or why are they not? Number two, are these similar? Argue why or why not? Number three, are they similar? Argue why or why not? Number four, similar, why or why not? Number five, similar, why or why not? Number six, similar, why or why not? Number seven, similar, why or why not? Uh, so that's seven opportunities for you to practice. I know you'll do well on this, but again, remember my work is all online on the Google Classroom. You can check your work with mine to make sure you have the right answers, to make sure you're on the right path. If you notice anything wrong, if you think you need a little bit more help, uh, send me an email, send me a message. We will, I will log on with you and I can even do one of the, uh, I can even do one of the problem set questions with you. So reach out for me if you need help on this. Check your work online with my work. That's what, that's why I post my work to help you so you can follow, so that you can see what I, exactly what I did. And remember, I am here all day to help you. After you check your work online and after you get any help from me you need, you can work on your exit ticket, which is exactly the same questions. Are they similar and how do you know? How do you know they are similar or how do you know they are not similar? So use the exit. So the remember, you do the exit ticket, take a picture of it, turn it in on the Google Classroom to show how well you mastered this. And again, I'm here for you all day, so just reach out and ask if you're even a little bit confused, even if you just want to talk to me about it, I will listen to you talk and explain, and we'll make sure you understand how to do this. But if you're good, you're good. Check your work, do the exit ticket, and I will see you for Lesson 11 next time.